All right, we are live. Uh, don't know, there might be a wind tunnel behind us or something. Uh, so welcome to the world of Hearthron. I'm your host, storyteller and dungeon master Bilbo. This is Tales from the Yawning For uh, Tales from the Yawning Portal. Forge of Fury. This is episode 15, and we are actually in part two of the fight with Night Scale and final level here of uh, the Forge. Uh, the basis of our group is we play the same characters through each of the adventures in the Onion Portal and level up characters accordingly, and we will finish with the Tomb of Horrors. Uh, we are short. A couple of players tonight. Uh, Where's the little guy? Torn, the little guy, is uh, decided to spend another evening at his dad's and play PlayStation uh, for another night with his cousins. So he uh, will not be here tonight. And Valian, uh, he finished three finals or is finishing his final or midterm, I guess. He may join us later, um, but I doubt it. I'm pretty sure his brain will be fried after statistics and an economics uh, midterm final here today. And then yet another one, I'm not sure what class that was in. But three of them, all, uh, all on the same day before he uh, flies uh, home to Seattle for the holidays. Normally, we play on Wednesday nights. However, because of the holidays, we figured the best thing to do is play Tuesday night, get this session in, finish up with night scale here, and then we will move on to the shrine uh, next week is uh, my plan. We'll if be we back. survive. Yeah, if you survive this. Yeah, now especially down a couple guys. Well, we know Torn and Valiant will survive. Uh, <laughs> as well as Dar. And Dar. And Dar. So we know there's going to be some survivors. It won't be a total... TPK, just maybe our four uh, lovely players here tonight. So, uh, before we get started, uh, Erebus, do you want to go ahead and do a recap of our episode two weeks ago? Um, and we will go from there. And you can either All choose right. inspiration or a luck card from Nord Games. You like those cards, but I think I'm topped out I'm looking for the die today. Uh, so we started out last session having cleared basically all of the forge, and we had nowhere to go except down. And uh, so we split up slightly, and Zazriel took uh, convinced Calcrex to let him uh, fly, uh, ride on the on his back, and they went down the waterfall. And the rest of us went down the rusty old uh, ladder, I guess. And, uh, which actually turned out to be pretty stable. I don't think we had any trouble, uh, except for Torn. Uh, I think got a little excited, tried to do a fireman at the end there, and uh, almost fell to his doom, but uh, managed to pull it together at the end. Um, watch we started off. Turn. What's that? Watch your turn to spider just crawl on the wall. Let's do that too. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, Zaza and Calcrix flew down one side and ended up actually on the uh, at the bottom. Uh, split up from Erebus, who was uh, cl climbing down the ladder in advance to make sure that it was safe at the bottom. Uh, they both arrived at the bottom, and uh, Zazriel hatched an excellent plan, which was that we are starting to get worried about Calvrix's power. And so he suggested that uh, we would try to have the dragons fight each other, and uh, then whoever, was, uh, whoever survived, we would finish them off. And so uh, he uh, led them into battle, uh, basically alone. Um, as it turned out, Zazriel ended up triggering um, Night, uh, Night Scale, and, and uh, Night Scale leapt out of the water and breathed on Zazriel. Start. Yep. The rest of which started combat for us. Uh, the rest of the group was still, uh, for the most part, climbing down the ladder, so they sped that up. And uh, meanwhile, Zazriel went full angel, and the two dragons started fighting. Uh, that fight uh, was brutal, blood and cold and acid flying. It quickly was dragged underwater. Probably the uh, black dragon thought it had some uh, advantage down there. And uh, from above, uh, Zazriel took some nice shots through the water, very hard shots. I believe hit the hit Nightshade a couple times, or Nightscale, sorry. And um, let's see what else happened. Uh, we saw a big, big 
ice chunks flew up, and then uh, spouts of acid, and then lots of blood, and finally Calcrex emerged from the water, wounded, bleeding, barely able to move, and leapt to the shore and said, Hell, heal me. Meanwhile, uh, the rest of us are slinking along the side of the shore, and we encountered a couple of invisible dirger, which uh, initially saw Erebus, but then couldn't find him, and luckily the loud and always eager for a fight, Torrin, appeared. And uh, Torrin, uh, with a little bit of help from Erebus, but mostly Torrin, took them down one, two. Elle, of course, said, yes, I'll heal you, Calcrix, but before she was able to, Nightshade appeared, and uh, with, I think, with a huge bite, uh, ripped into Calcrix's neck, and then as he laid his feet, uh, slammed the claw down into him, uh, finishing him off for good. Uh, and what else happened? Elle got breathed on, but I think was able to dodge out of the way, just in the right time. And uh, then, uh, I think as we finished, Nightshade grabbed Calcrex, dragged him underwater, and there was a brief calm. Yep, I think the, that's where we left off. Calcrex gone into the water um, with Night uh, with Night uh, Scale taking uh, Calcrex in. Yeah, very smart play on your guys' part because yeah, Calcrex would have been a problem now. He's a bigger, bigger dragon, but still a mind of a ten year old. So good idea, good job. So we will go from there. We are underwater. Uh, Billy, do you want to take those books away? And then move up the camera. Nice. Can move it up some more and then scale it down. Go down. That's what I'm talking about. Move it up. Right. I see you're having the youngling do your work. Your hand, your monkey yeah. work there. Yeah. All right. So, all right. So that's good enough, I guess, for right now. So, with that, uh, uh, Kit, uh, you are up right now, and you are in a little uh, cubby hole <laughs> off uh, off the side of the Black Lake here. Um, what do you want to do? Me? Are you talking to me? No, this is to Kit. Kit's up first. Okay. Can I see a way out of the... Oh, does this loop up and around? Uh, no. So this is a small little cave that you're in. Um, it's probably about uh, 15, 20 feet wide and about uh, 10 to 15 feet deep uh, is the cave you are in. Um, off to the side of you, but through the water, um, about five feet is another, uh, uh, little beach that, uh, that is there. So, you're basically saying that I'd have to either wade my way through the water to get to the next beach, or transfer to a spider just crawl along the wall. Correct. Yeah, you'd either have to uh, take your chances in the water with a black dragon under there somewhere. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, and you're not sure how deep the water is too. So if you're a good swimmer, you'd probably be fine. I mean, it's only five feet uh, to swim to the other side. Um, <laughs> only five feet. But it is five feet, you know, so. A lot can happen in five feet. <laughs> a lot can happen in five feet. But that would get you on the other beach. Uh, and it kind of opened you up. I could go into the constrictor form because that does have swim. Yeah, you could do that too. And that way I could just use pierce if they uh, bite. If I fail, you more than that. Yep, so what do you want to do? You does not like me. <laughs> what are you going to do, Kit? I will do snake and swim over to the next landing. All right, so you're going to turn into your snake, swim on over. Billy, you can go over there and take a... All right. Okay, so that would probably be about uh, 10 feet in movement. Um, so now you're on this uh, beach. This beach stretch is probably about uh, 15, or but now about 20 feet long. 
and uh, it's about five feet wide here. It's a thin, uh, thin beach here. Can I still see the rest of the group? Uh, yeah, absolutely. From well, does you probably can't because does the constrictor have dark vision? I don't think and there's no there's no one has light over here, right? No. Yeah, I don't think you can probably see anybody. Great. Yeah, you're probably just in the dark on this beach. Billy, you can move the camera a little bit this way. A little more. So let's see in the air a bit, so we're fine. I have blind sight for 10 feet. Cool. But again, snakes' eyes aren't all that good. No, probably not. So good, you know, good senses with That's your tongue. That's why they have heat sensors around their yeah. snake. Yeah. But yeah, so you're on a beach, but it's dark. Okay. So it's gonna stay I there. I just wait here. Okay. All right. So Torn is up. So Torn is going to move. All right. So he's running. <laughs> I'll just keep him there. Don't want to bring him across the bridge. <laughs> He'll wait until I'm the next. To whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna let him go. Okay, exactly. Well, you are out. I wouldn't do that to him. Uh, perception to see if I see you. Uh, 20. 20? Uh, 20, no. You, you don't see. You have an idea that he's probably closer to where Torn is at. Um, since that's the last thing he did was take um, Calcrix down into the water. Alright, I go back down and I grab my bow. Okay. And I shoot back up. Oh, hey, dude. You probably shouldn't be standing here. Dragon's gonna come here over, over here soon. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so, uh, yeah, um, you hear this kid. Of course, you can't respond, but, uh, and probably see a little glimpse of uh, Zazriel coming down, grabbing his bow, flying down, and then flying back up in the air. Um, but you made a 20 perception check, however, and your dark vision is 60. 60. So because of where you were at, um, you noticed that island. Um, with all, it has a, a quite a bit of uh, stalagmites thrust up from, uh, uh, from the ground here and the ceiling above. Um, and uh, you noticed that there was a, some sort of glimmer on the beach, possible treasure. Where was that? Like, yeah, oh yeah, on that beach, and that, yeah. on, in there, you see uh, some some loot. I found the loot, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So let's see. First time. Nope. All right. Um. And yeah, so for our viewers that might be watching, Night Scales is really not, not there. there. <laughs> it's just, he's, just, he's it's, really in here. <laughs> it's really, yeah, he's really underwater somewhere swimming about. Um, so. Come on, come on, buddy. All right. <laughs> so no, he does not. I do apologize for any crunching you hear, because I am eating. Snack. All right, just just go on mute when you you're crunching away and then come yeah. back. All right, uh, Erebus, you are up. All right, uh, so I can't see Night Scale, correct? No. Okay. Yeah, he's underwater somewhere. All right, and can I see Zaz? Yeah. Uh, yeah, because you have, yeah, 120 feet, yeah, so you see him across, uh, the beach where this, uh, large constrictor snake is as well on the beach, which you assume is, uh, Kit, um, right. so you saw Zazriel fly down, grab his bow, and then fly back on up in the air a little bit. And how far would it be to jump to that island? Um, to, uh, the island, which island? The one across. I guess the closest, I can't, I, the one on the right to yeah. him. The one right to him. Uh, to the right, it's a, it's a, a yeah, other beach, uh, front yeah. there. Uh, it's probably about, 
an eight foot jump or so. I mean, it's kind of a weird jump. Probably the way you have to jump um, is probably about, yeah, eight, maybe 10 Actually, feet. Yeah. I think that Valian's uh, holding a, a spider climb for me. That is true. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. We'll do that. We'll put that on him before he, he, he takes off. <laughs> no, it was already there. It was already there. <laughs> yeah, hmm? was yeah already I mean, I think he still had it from before, so... Oh, okay. um, We're just climbing down the ladder. Yeah, no, he has it. He just hasn't put it on him yet. Yeah. No, no, he has it on him. That was That's what we were saying. Oh, Erebus is currently oh Erebus has it on him. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Right. Erebus is... He's concentrating on that spell that Erebus is affected by. Okay. Yep, okay. I think I'm just going to sit tight. Um, I don't recall if I'm stealth, so maybe I'll just use a bonus to stealth now. Okay. And then, uh, and then ready to uh, ready to shoot if uh, if Knight's uh, scale reappears. Okay. All right, so I'll do my hide. All right, so that is a 19. All right, no problem. And then I'm just ready with my bow. All right, Al, you are up. All right, um, Al is going to maneuver. So you move her like towards that little uh, hopping stones area, which okay. she observes people going across without too much ado. It looks like, and so she's going to cross towards um, towards Erebus. Okay. Um, don't be in a group. It's a dragon. <laughs> nope. And uh, then she's going to cast uh, Cure Wounds on herself. All right. Good idea. Actually, no. She's going to bind her own wounds. Much better. Okay. Instead of casting Cure Wounds. And uh, looking across. All right. Oh, well, one. But that's still 10 points of healing. So. All right. Got it. All right. Oh, there it is. I missed him. I have Valiant go ahead and uh, double move across there. I'm going to just take him out. Put him in the corner. So he shows up. He does show up. All right. So it's a new round. Kit, you are up. I'm swinging with the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know Zaz saw something in the sand. Do I see anything in the sand? You don't see shit. <laughs> no, no, you don't. <laughs> Not the sand you were in. This other sand. <laughs> Um, you are not sure because it's so dark in here and you have no sight really. Uh, you just know that you're on about a 20 foot, uh, beachfront right now. And then there's just water around you. I do have passive perception to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that won't, that's not going to help you at all here. In this yeah, I know. I'm just trying to figure out. Could I move, like, at least 10 feet? Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you want to move it in the middle of the beach. Yeah, absolutely. Billy, you want to throw her in the Or to the other end. Better. Or to the other end. Yeah, you can do that, too. Yeah, absolutely. That's 20. Yep. Yep, so you slither on over there. All right, cool. All right, move torn across, and he'll be with Make the check. Valiant. And he falls. And he <laughs> All right. Oh, man, I pulled up the wrong guy. Okay, Zazriel. Perception to see if I see him. Uh, 22? Nope. All right. So you are ready to shoot. All right, no problem. So, uh, we 
with that. He comes up on the beach. Um, and he, uh, uh, so you can take a shot as he's coming out of the water. Um, absolutely, you can take a shot at him. Both of us? Yep, I'll have him uh, do it first. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, 23? Uh, 23 is going to hit. Ooh. 18 points of damage. All right, so 18. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, 26. That's going to hit. For 14 points of damage. All right, got it. All right, and then uh, go ahead, uh, uh, Erebus, you can take the shot, too. Do I think he sees me? Uh, no, he doesn't see you. Okay, yeah, yeah. Take my shot. Wow, just an amazing amount of shit rolls. I miss. All right. <laughs> Can I hear your die? <laughs> oh, so <I'm> just... <laughs> <laughs> it's the delay, delay tights. All right, yeah, and so you notice what because you're up above him. Yeah. Uh, he comes up on the beach, and uh, he gets shot. And looks up at you. Um, and then uh, in his mouth, he just scoops up a bunch of his treasure. That's what he. That's what he. Uh, he does this round. So he's just uh, <laughs> he's scooping and running, guys. <laughs> yeah, he's just he's be scooping up a big, uh, big uh, mouthful of loot here. All right, uh, and with that, Erebus, you are up. All right. Um... He seems to be distracted, like, trying to save his treasure. Uh, that's what, yeah, it seems like that's what he's doing right now. <laughs> well, you, you, yeah, you might not be able to really see that. He can see out above because there's a bunch of stalagmites. You see him down below, though. He's not up above. I mean, uh -huh. you can kind of take shot through. It's a difficult, it's a difficult shot anyways for you to make, but uh, well, you, might, sense, you might see that. You probably hear coinage. You'd probably definitely hear coins being uh, moved around. Well, I'll say he's taking his loot and running, I think. What the? All right. Um, all right, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to move and hide. Okay. Um, and then I'll try to take another shot. So, And I think I'm going to try to move up. Do I think that will give me an easier angle if I climb up the, up the base a little bit? Uh, oh, you mean climb up there a little bit? Yeah, vertically, like using the spider climb. Yeah, that would probably help you. Okay, so I'll go up, I don't know, 10 or 20 feet and try to hide. Okay. See if I roll anything good. Ah, oh, that's good, that's good. All right, uh, 25. All right, good. All right. All right, and then I will take a shot again. All right, let's see if I can roll. Roll over a five. What do we think here? Uh, the answer is no. Uh, that is amazing. That is another miss. Take, right. take, take my die. Take, take my die. He's already missed. He already declared you missed, man. It's not how it works, remember? <laughs> he just said yeah. you missed. He didn't say. Oh, he could also rolls. just say he could. He did say terrible rolls, and <laughs> but then he said right after. And that's that's where he can ask for a die too, remember? So uh, with that, L is up. All right, well, let's see if L can do better. Um, L is going to uh, fire off a, uh, a uh, what do you call it, a uh, brain fart here. Guiding uh, bolt. Guide bolt. Okay. And 16 on the die. Ooh. I'm going to take that one. Um, so that is so 22. You see 22? Uh, nope, it's gonna hit a stalagmite. Oh! They have a bunch. Of, they has a bunch of stalagmites. It's not an easy shot. Um. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, that's a spell, and I will. Um, let's see. Um, okay. Then she is going to. Move uh, further into the cave. 
Like, you mean where the doober came from? I'm seeing just barely uh, the edge of things. Does that... You know, they actually... actually no, not into that, not not away from the dragon. Okay, actually, all right. Or, uh, further into the cave, meaning, like, from where we came from. Um, so along the wall, yep. Yeah. yeah, all right, yeah. You want to hide where that cave alcove where Erebus has climbed up? Oh, sure. I'll, t- I'll tuck in right there. That's fine. Okay. Um, so, but is that another beach that I see? Yeah, but it's on the other side of a uh, five foot. You have five foot. There's a space over there. You're not. That's fine. You have yeah. to go okay. through so water. I'm going to move to there and. Um, Shively. Uh, yeah, as a bonus action, I'm going to do uh, healing word on myself. Add, All right. Add 10 points to him. Hmm? I forgot about the radiant damage. Oh. Um, so that is six points back. All right, so I get minus two then. Yep. Okay. Cool. All right, it is a new round, and Kit, you are up. Now I'm mute, Kit. There we go. Front half. All right, so what do you do, Kit? So, can I move? Uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to move into the water, um, or... Wait, can you, uh... Can you see me, Judy? Uh... You, I mean, you're just not sure if you saw you or not. It's just no indication. You're kind of in okay. a. You, you heard a splash. I mean, I don't even know what you can hear. Maybe you feel a splash, a big splash come out of the water. You, you, you see a little light of arrow. Yeah, probably you did see a light arrow come from the sky down, down from below, and a and a bolt fly across the water on the opposite side of the of the lake so you probably saw that so you can assume mr dragon is out of the water uh, cautiously moves slightly bit closer to the water well yeah you're and, right on the edge i mean you're right there on uh, the end of the beach with the water so oh uh, I really can't see that. So. Yeah, can we move the camera back? Yeah. Tip, tip it down, maybe a little tip more. Tip it down. There you go. Yeah, because we don't need your It also doesn't help that I have it pulled up on my phone. No, it's, yeah, we're fine. Right? I got my laptop. Yeah, you're good, too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's going to be the So, yeah, so you're really right now on the edge of a beach. Um, uh, and, yeah, right on the edge of the lake water right now. Okay. So how how far would it be to get to the island? Fifty. Uh, it's about twenty feet swim for you. Okay. I'm just thinking. Do I want to risk it? Risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> As they say, nowhere. <laughs> Yeah, you probably wouldn't know about that that part. Okay. Because yeah, you just can't see. You're in a, just a bad uh, situation without uh, having dark vision here. Alright, uh, Zazriel, you are up. 
Alright, uh, he needs to make a dex saving throw of uh, DC 13. Okay, what? I'm casting Hail of Thorns on my shot. Oh. I made it. Alright, that's a 23 hit. Uh, 23 hits him. Alright, so he takes... Twenty-three points of damage. All right. Five, five of that was radiant. Okay. Take the D10 down. Second shot. Uh, does a twenty-six hit? Yes, it does. And wow, you're on fire! Nice job. Twenty-one points. Mm-hmm. So how do you finish Night Scale on there, is that real? Yeah. So with the first shot, you see a bunch of thorns splinter off the arrow as it leaves the string. And then you hear him yell out in pain. And as I pull out the second one, I say, Morgulog, here's your soul. And I shoot my last shot at him. All right. So yeah, so uh, yeah, you see this radiant, these thorns coming flying down. Uh, as, as, as you guys really, uh, it's hard for you to make, you know the dragon's there, but it's so low on the beach, uh, trying to use the stalagmites as cover as best as it can, but can't do anything from up above, death from above. And then this final arrow comes glowing out and uh, plugs the dragon right in the neck and uh, just puts him down right there on the beach. It's dead. The dragon's dead. Good job. <laughs> he got him before he got away with some of his videos. Yeah. That's why I knew we had to kill him. That's why I was going to offer him to for my inspiration. I'm like, we need to kill this guy before he leaves. <laughs> All right. You going to drop animal form? Then I'll uh, drop down, too. Okay. Then so you go down. Drop on down to the ground. All right. And then, you, uh, Kit, you're going to change out of animal form, is that correct? Mm-hmm. All right, Kit goes back. He's on the beach there with you. All right. Uh, so, Erebus, what do you do? The dragon shrieks out. I'll point to the ceiling. Just climb along the ceiling. And get to this, this side mites yeah. over here. I guess if there's side mites that come down, I can go uh, uh, up and down, up and around, depending on how high it is. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can, uh, let's see, though, if any of them. I guess I can make my way across using the ceiling. If there's any that come down from the top. Nothing in the sense they come all the way down. Um, boy, what would be the lowest here? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, if you climb across or whatever, you probably will still have to take it. 20 foot uh, fall. Could, could he do this? Like jump from one to the other? He would st- yeah, like, no, like one very that's going the top. top coming down. So yeah, top coming down and then one that's going bottom to up. And that would be uh, yeah, a spider climb, so we'll just latch on, right, latch on right onto it. Yeah, it's a 20 foot fall. That's just, that's, that's, 20, that's, that's fine. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, drop, I'll drop down. I'll use acrobatics to try to lessen that. If All I right, can. yep, absolutely. Acrobatics. Alright, let me make a roll. Uh, see if I can roll anything over a one these days. <laughs> and I rolled a one. <laughs> so I, I land on my back, uh, injured, severely, unable to move for a little bit. Yeah, and on the ground. So, yeah. Yeah, so he tried to leap to uh, a stalagmite, uh, yeah. but miss it. And, and he's a rogue, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. On, yeah, on to your back. All right. And so you uh, take 11 points of damage with the fall. Right. <laughs> Oof. <This is> brutal. <laughs> wow, the dice are just not my friend. No. Wow. Uh, Erebus, what are you going to, or not Erebus, or L, what are you going to do? Uh, she's going to cast Blink. Okay. And then, uh, try to, uh, see if she goes out, you know, if she wakes out, uh, she will cross that barrier between her and the next
next page. Okay. Closer, and then uh, then she'll do it again to uh, to get across because I can go ten feet of, of travel from where I disappear. The, um, uh, there's 15. nowhere that's fifteen feet. Yeah, <laughs> she's, she sees that she's gonna have to get to the other side, so she's gonna go uh, go to where it's fifteen feet, but as close as she can get, which I think is right at that point, right? Yeah. Yeah, so go ahead and first, I guess, do your blank, see if you get through it. Yep, so the first one was, was 17, so All right. I'll go there. Um, and then I'll travel to, you know, walk to the next point on my turn. Okay. Blanks out. Let's see. The second one does not. Um, so you just stay put then? But third one does. So, okay. yep, so she's going to she's gonna try to go, you know, blank to the other side. Okay. Loosh, well, blink, you know, out, travel 10 feet, and then try to go with just 5 feet from that into the, into the, uh, or up onto the beach, so. All right. Up to, yeah, up onto the center island. So, so you just, got wet. Yeah, so, well, so you got to make a swim, or you got to just do the blink again? Uh, I'll try to do a swim check, no problem. Yep, go ahead. Why not? All right. So that'd be a twelve. All right. Uh, you gonna use? Well, it's at, sorry, athletics, right? Yeah. Either yeah. athletics or acrobatics, whichever in this case. Oh, well, acrobatics is definitely better. So acrobatics is gonna be a fifteen. Okay. Yep. So you barely, barely grab onto <gasps> the rock of rock and pull yourself up there on the beach, barely. Like uh, Trebella would help. So yeah, so then she'll try to uh, take a look at what's there on, on the beach. And... All right, so you guys are all on the beach there. I'll tell you what you find here. You yeah, ready? Take take his soul. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah, I'll do that. So <laughs> so yeah, so John, <laughs> come on over there, and uh, uh, yeah, so <laughs> John's gonna just uh, stab him right in the back of the neck. <laughs> All right, ready for this horde? Night Scales horde. So you're going to find uh, 6,200 silver pieces. I love getting that off of here. Uh, 1,430 gold. There's two garnets worth 20 gold pieces each. Just tell me when you guys are ready. I'm good. There's a black pearl worth 50 gold. A wand of magic missiles. A wand of magic, magic missile. A plus two gray axe bearing Durgadin Smith mark. Oh, I might have to keep that one. Offer you all gold for it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's supposed to be one of the things you're supposed to be bringing back to uh, back to your How guys' many more <laughs> Quote unquote, supposed to. <laughs> uh, there's a plus one shield. A potion of healing. And a potion of flying. <laughs> There's only one, so who's not getting across? <laughs> Is there like any way we could like... No, it's not close. Alright. As the rest of the group's going over the horde, Kit goes over and... Sits next to Nightscale's body. Oh, I take off one of the horns before she goes and does that. When I get down there on the ground, I take off a horn of Nightscale's. All right. All right. All right, yeah. So, yeah, you come on over there and uh, sit with Nightscale and Jot's right there. Look what Zazriel did to your lover boy, huh? <laughs> Descendant, Jot. 
Okay, the sand This is basically my grandfather. This is your grandfather? Wow. Basically. Sorry. He's he's in hell now. <laughs> <laughs> the sad thing is, I was supposed to defeat him. Well. As customers of my tribe. I, I think you need to learn how to fly then. Because that's what Angel, Angel Gal is doing. Zaz, Zaz. You know when, 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 to Zaz earlier and he did, she didn't listen. When, say you, I don't know, find you, well, you won't find it. Say something happens, like, uh, you know, you, you die. Would you mind if I sent you to hell? <coughs> keep, keep, that, keep that question to yourself. Okay, all right. So we'll we'll keep that. We'll we'll backpack at that one. Yep. We'll all right. Back. I like that one. All right. Get out of here before I hit you with my staff. <laughs> you don't even see me. <laughs> see, yeah, he poops. <laughs> uh, no other weapons, though. Uh nope, no other weapons. How many weapons were you supposed to eat, guys? Uh I believe Do you one, make two, an intelligence three, check? Because I can't. I four. I believe it's, there's four weapons. You we have two. And yep, you have two. Oh, we still have some searching. Long sword, a great axe, a hand axe, and a war hammer. Yeah. We have the sword and we have the war axe. The good thing is we got the expensive ones. The other ones are worth 500. <laughs> Uh, how do we suppose we get this stuff back across the river? Well, um, I mean, you can fly, so... Uh, uh-uh. <laughs> are, are, you, are you not flying? <laughs> Her wings, like, disappear, like, oh. 12 seconds later after she lands. Oh. <laughs> oh. Jot was like, oh. Yeah. Okay. That's an option. Kit actually uh, has a bit of uh, ability to change forms. Uh, you can wait and rest a little while. But uh, large amounts, yeah, they're going to be a problem. So we might have to get some rope and trail the rope across. Yeah, uh, trail the rope across. Nice. Maybe have somebody go grab like one of the chests up top and like. Boogie it across. Is there like some the chest would hands? sink. The, remember, this sink. water moves very fast. You're probably best off if you use like um, maybe a saddlebag. I mean, it would take some process a saddlebag and maybe some sacks off of uh, Lucky, and uh, maybe have one person on uh, on the island loading up treasure, and then have maybe two or three people. Um, Pulling, or maybe two people, a couple people on the beach loading treasure, and then you use a rope and like a saddlebag and maybe some sacks and throw it across and just scurry the treasure over that way. It's probably going to be your guys's uh, uh, best bet here. Before we, before we do anything, uh, Erebus and Zazer, I believe both of you are wounded, yes? Just a minor scratch. Or minor burn, I should say. I'm still immobile on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Paralysis is hit. Just laying there. In gold. Just laying on top of gold. Exactly. <laughs> there, right, there's so the that index. is uh, 13 points. Right. Erebus, oh, wow. the hand axe is uh, gouged into your back. <laughs> no wonder we couldn't find it. <laughs> that, that makes sense. I was useless, sorry. Guys. Well, I equally did nothing to him, but... What can I do? He was hiding behind stalactites. Yeah, it was an invisible dragon. Yep. It's okay. So, uh, John, would you be willing to look on the other shores, see if there's anything we're missing? Sure. Oh, oh 
<laughs> so he uh, yeah, he'll he'll go on off and then he'll turn visible after he uh, flies off the back of the dragon tail. Just. <laughs> Oh, he's all better. He's all better. She's making sure. Yeah. It's all, uh, all, all sore muscles and bruised ego. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, Jot will come back. After, I mean, you guys will be counting treasure here for a while anyway. Um, but uh, Jot will uh, come back and uh, say he's kind of perused the beaches and the bat. There's a bat cave, he says. Uh, but uh, there is a... Uh, He's like, uh, there is uh, nothing else down there. Let me just double check that, make sure I'm not misquoting myself here. But yeah, I don't think so. Um, I think that if, uh, yeah, yeah, he comes back and says, yeah, he doesn't find uh, anything back we need, there. We need to dig to look, or if we need to look underwater, those are both possible options. No, that I already included the treasure in the dragon's okay. mouth. So whatever he got, we, we pulled out. Okay. Yeah, there was a wand. The wand of magic missiles was in his mouth, and there was some silver and gold in his mouth. <laughs> um, well, uh, how's the spider climb work underwater? I'll go to the uh, the far side of the island and see if it still seems like I can stick to the ground if I go down. Uh, I would say the current is so strong that you don't want to do that. Are nervous? Okay. Yeah. Do you want the last piece? I'll, I'll convey what John says. There's nothing else for the other peers. Yeah. He just comes back and says there's a, he says there's a lake back there, but uh, there's nothing else on that land at all over there. It's a big beach, but... I'm talking to the group. My service form would be my brown bear. If someone wanted to just go over and cast a rope between there and the, here and there, I could carry everything if they just hold onto the rope. If they would like, if you guys want to pull me across, I just like swim the current. How strong it is. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. But it's a good idea to, to maybe use your bear form for the strength, but I don't want, it, want all the loot just to sit on top of you and weighing down and you end up drowning. Oh, uh, yeah. Breathe water right now. So, yeah, like I said, guys, your best option, guys, your best option is to probably just pull it across with, you know, sacks you know it's going to take some time but that's probably your safest and best option yeah, and if you yeah if you transform it into the into the water or into an animal uh, then there's that possible ability of getting taken by uh this this fast moving uh, water in this in this room in okay this so we'll place. just yell to the other guys they'll go uh they'll go get the stuff we need yeah um, absolutely dar would come you know, come on down, and uh, they, I mean, bring Lucky, and... and we can throw a rope with the grapple, and we could have Jot carry the rope. Oh, Lucky can't get down, duh. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, so, guys, in the sense, I'm not going to make this difficult on you. Uh, <laughs> um, it's, it's, just time, gonna it's just going to take a lot of time. I mean, it, it uh -oh. may very well take a day <laughs> to get all the treasure from down here up <laughs> up the, you know, you can remember because there's a ladder, up the yeah. ladder and everything like that. So, I mean, it'll probably take about a day to get everything um, out of here and get your guys' all your gear together and ready to go. And I'm assuming you guys are going to go out the path that uh, um, the, uh, the bear had, uh, had shown you guys. Later, right? As, well, let's before we get to that, uh, uh, is uh, the the the, uh, the waterfall area that Zaz came down. Was there anything else to explore that way? No. 
It was, okay, it all linked together? Yeah. And then, um, are we gonna, so I'll, I'll address the group. Are, are we gonna look for the wait, small wait, wait. weapons? What's back here? There's nothing back there. So that's where you kind of started. Yeah, it's not, are we gonna look for the small weapons or no? Well, uh, do we think there's anywhere that we can explore for other reasons? That's? No, we've pretty much covered everywhere. But do we think that the weapons either are lost to the world, or they left with the murder, or we might escape since two bodies put down to here? I mean, I'm kind of want to go search the crypt, since the oh, since the, the since the, the dwarf's door? not here anymore. Er, I say to Erebus. Oh yeah. Hey. Hey guys. <laughs> One sec. Do, hey guys. Do, do, you do you guys discuss all do, do you want to go search this uh, crypt that we were so graciously told not to? Okay. Absolutely. I'm tired. Because that, that looks like on my sketch the only thing that we can search that we yeah. haven't. The dead don't need their weapons, that's for sure. Yeah. At least not dead dwarves. And uh, I think, uh, L, you should uh, have this magical shield. Since you since you stood so bravely against that dragon, it's breath. Well, I did stand there. <laughs> you dodged out of the way. I watched you. Oh, that that that's true. Any, any, uh, all those uh, kids <laughs> uh, But no, I think that will help me greatly. Okay, okay. Uh, Hell, the plus one shield. Okay. We're we gonna give Dar the uh, the the, the great axe. Uh, I don't know. If we're not, if we don't find these other two axes, uh, they're getting sold back. Well, I think we're chasing them back in. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe not. I mean, we're we're gonna get yeah. it. We're going to go back to the crypt. I don't know what I know about value, so maybe I won't say that. Okay, so you guys are going to go to the crypt? Yep. Okay. Um, and just basically ransack the crypt. Yep. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, lo and behold, in the crypt, uh, you will... Every single one we will open. Uh, you will find the Warhammer. Yeah, I know you guys are going to have to open all of them to find it, but... What, what is this plus? Plus two? Uh, no, it's not magic. So it's just his war hammer? Yeah. Yep. But, but it's the one we're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. So it has his uh, smith on it. It has its uh, signature on there. The smith sign. So we need um, to axe. War hammer, a bunch of gems. Let me see if you guys find anything else here. The dwarves had to have some gems hidden in the uh, You will find <laughs> a... Um, a uh, you will find a ring of gold in the shape of a dragon holding its tail in its mouth. That is worth 120 gold pieces. Any insignia on it? Um, uh, no. All right, good. No. Cool, sounds good. Yeah, and then, the, of course, like I said, you find the Warhammer. I think we talked over you there, uh, Kat. Did you, you ask for it? Yeah. Dragon Lane. It's perfect. That's all right. Yeah. I kill. I, we kind of like killed her, so-called kin or something. Yeah. That's try, try to make try to make her happy a little bit. Yeah, yeah. we handed to you. Sorry about your grandpa. Okay. Thank you. Yes. How, how long would we have? Would have been my great grandfather. Harvest the rest of that. I mean, I'm guessing it's really someone much older. Than how that. long to harvest the rest of the dragon? Yeah. We wanted to you know, get things done. Did you ask how long to harvest the dragon? Yep. That's what I just said. Um, I mean, yeah, it would take you, it would probably still take you probably, I mean, how much do you want to harvest off of it? Like some stuff. Oh, I'm looking at, like, the, the after, uh, pouch and, or, uh, you know, some of the fangs. And what about the scales? They yeah, put armor? Arm, possibly make armor. Good armor. I see they start cutting like, up uh, my ancestor, and I walk yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, half a day to scale it and get it across. 
Uh, yeah, it'd probably take, well, not scale the whole thing. I mean, you could take some scales. Once again, how are you going to carry all this extra stuff? You're, you're la laying down with treasure. With oh, all, right. Yeah, all the silver and gold. Your, your sacks are filled. Your chests are filled. Your donkey is filled. We'll take like half of the body's scales. Well, is that enough for an armor? Is that enough for anything? Uh, yeah, I mean, absolutely half would definitely be enough for a suit of armor. Now, how do we get it across? How heavy would it be? It's going to be pretty. I mean, you're going to have to take, once again, part by part. few pieces part. by few pieces. And then we so. get it, throw it across. <laughs> There's a lot to use with it, so <laughs> some of it flows down, that's fine. All right, so first, uh, so... Let's, um, you want to do to get these, uh, the, their acid, his acid, uh, uh, a part of his, uh, sax out. Sacks, yeah. yeah. you got to make a survival check here. You can have a sleight of hand if you want. Uh, 25. Okay, yeah, so you're able to pull that off. All right, so, yep, you'll be able to do that. You can, yeah, take teeth, you know, a horn, so, uh, take some scales off. Um, we, yeah, it will take you probably about a good half a day, probably you and Erebus harvesting, you know. I'm going to watch it. Yeah, so we'll be down here for like a day and a half. Yeah, I would say probably in the end, it's probably about two days. Of us just being in all, here, yeah. just be, be getting treasure, getting the dragon, doing all that kind of stuff. Um, I'd say you probably spend about two days down here, uh doing all that kind of stuff. All right, so we'll do that once we get that all done and get back to the top. Oh, Dar, hey, <laughs> you're here. <laughs> Still, I thought you'd be off with our treasure. Yes. Glad, you're, glad you're here. Yeah, whatever, he's been around. So. <laughs> <laughs> Helping with treasure, getting treasure up and in. in. Any other, Zaz, any other thoughts on the war axe? Um, it's a hand axe, hand, axe. hand axe. Axe. yeah. Yeah, you guys have no clue where that thing is. <laughs> well, uh, there is the possibility that, uh, I don't know if, if uh, we need to locate object. Can I do an intelligence check to see if we fought anybody with a hand axe? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Seventeen. Yeah, you're sure that no one, you did not see anybody with a hand axe at all on their side, and none of them were fighting with one. So, and perhaps the one of the two that murdered that guy down here had one. Yeah, they could have had it on their side. But I think three out of four ain't bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Let's see. Let's make a check for person that. Yeah, he does. Yeah, um, uh, Torn doesn't remember if he saw an extra weapon on their sides or he knocked them in the water. Wait, I mean, they're in the water anyway, right? They, yeah, they they're gone. Down. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. I want to go check the room 31 again. Down, down with down, the storage down. area. I don't know how that part goes down. Okay. It's turtles all the way down. Right. Do so you're going to kind of look in some other rooms and stuff? Yeah. Give me an investigation check. You can help with that. Yeah, if you got to spend maybe another couple, <laughs> couple hours searching around. Oh, where is this damn hand at? 21. All right. So, uh, so yeah, you actually, uh, you have to go way up freaking top to the very first level. Like Glitterham or the first, first level? The very first level where you fought the, the orcs. orcs. Jeez. Yes. And up there, um, uh, searching around, uh, um, 
you'll eventually find a hand axe like under uh, under one of these beds you guys just missed it or whatever oh, when we first came in like that room where they were <laughs> sleeping like, were yeah the it? very first yeah the very first room it's where they had their room. yep you guys didn't find it then we didn't roll we didn't roll higher yeah. you guys did you did. You guys found treasure in there. Yeah, you guys, we found treasure in there. You found treasure in there. I, ha I have a thing of treasure in there. Yeah. Yeah. Just, no. yeah <laughs> absolutely. You guys did find treasure. You just uh, couldn't find this axe, and, but you guys will find the axe now, and uh, so you have all the weapons recovered. All right. Uh, everything is accounted for. I have the map right here drawn up. I have the twenty-two right hands and the one left hand of the orcs. The one ogre hand, the 22 trog hands, the 10 duger hands, <laughs> and the one orc white hand. Well, we've got the right claw from the dragon. Yep, all right. And we got the right claw from the dragon. I, I of course, made sure that after that left, we, we, we made sure to cut one stake out of the dragon. <laughs> yeah, she didn't wit She wasn't there. But she didn't want to witness the harvest. Say, I, I once ate dragon. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah so when you guys are down there harvesting dinner time you guys are like let's cook some of this up <laughs> she's upstairs <laughs> alright uh, I think uh, we should uh, head back down and get our, grab our horses hopefully I mean I, I, we can't it's really drag all this from here I think we should send the group out to bring the wagon yeah that's what I meant like we should go down there right. Sorry, grab, talk grab our horses and then come back up here and get this stuff. Yeah, you don't have a wagon. The wagon couldn't make it. You left the wagon back in town, but you guys have horses. We have horses. Down, yeah, down, down. We didn't leave the wagon in town. I think we left it at the edge of the trail. The yeah, our edge of the trail. You couldn't get the, yeah, but, you couldn't get the wagon through the woods. So. But Thorne has been, Thorne went back to, or, yeah, Thorne was with the horses. Yes. Thorn was with the horses, the horses and the wagon. So I mean you guys could definitely bring the horses uh and uh and load up and you know and come through the bottom versus having to bring them all to the top. Because through the bear. You go oh, to through, the bear exit. Okay, yeah. great. You go through the bear exit, um yeah, and then bring bring back, you know, if the, your horses to load up the rest of uh rest of the loot and the dragon um the dragon scales and stuff like that and um the one thing i'm going to ask is what are you guys going to carry these acid sacks in oh the, the acid pouch yep. you know, we yeah we did have a couple chests right yes yeah she's well ellen's going to suggest that that uh you know we we're extra extra careful at first, but uh, that uh, she'll she'll suggest that you know he just cinches it off in terms of in one as one pouch, uh, but then yeah in a in one of the chests with okay. some of the silver or whatever you know just okay to no problem relatively safe all right uh, all right so you guys will. Uh, Get all that together and uh, uh, head on back to the town, correct? That is correct. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. All right, so back to the town. All right. Okay, so. Okay, so um, the uh, orc hands they'll take uh, tw they'll give you twenty five gold pieces oh, per orc. Okay, all right. Wait, wait, for the, all of them or for each of the orcs? Right hand or left hand? Just one, one just the all or just the one hand. So so the right hand they take all the side hand, the left hand, and the orc white hand. And uh, I say, sorry, one of the orcs was only had a left hand. This is undead. Yeah. I'm not, I'm paying for orcs. 
Here, here's the left hand of the one-armed orc. The one-armed orc? Yeah, we fought an orc who just used oh. a great axe. And this is the axe? only one left hand that you brought back? Yeah. Okay, then <laughs> check that. All right. All right. Yeah, and then for all the rest of the orcs, 25 gold pieces. All right. What about this ogre hand? I'm saying maybe like 15? Sure. Now, we ran into some Duger and Trogs. They never, I, I don't know, Trogs never bothered us, or neither did these they, they may in the future, they may not. You killed them, you have all their hands we, here. We did kill them all, we even killed their children, but we need to bring <laughs> that up. <laughs> uh, 22 Trog hands and a 10 Duger hands, maybe, maybe like 100 gold for our troubles of clearing out the forge. Yeah, do you roll a persuasion? I'm yeah, persuasion. go ahead. Yep, persuasion, yep. Oh, yeah. 18. All right, she'll give you another 100 gold pieces for all you guys' trouble. Boom. Well, I think we killed both a black and a white dragon. Yeah, we also uh, accomplished killing a gold white dragon that went by the name of Calcrix. And this Never heard of it. black dragon, Nightshade. Nightscale. Nightscale, my bad. How do we know? Never bothered us. I heard rumors that there was a dragon living there, but we had never had any issues. We never came and down here. Future. It won't ever again bother you. Or when you guys go there and hopefully refortify it and make it strong again. Yeah, that's dwarves. That's a dwarven key. Well, you want to take that from the dwarves. All right, but uh, thank you for doing business. Uh, it was a pleasure clearing out. Oh, and uh, did they want the map? No. All right. Uh, that's back. In, that is back there. Yeah, that's uh, your dwarven friend, part of your, your uh, part of the but guild. We were missing. We were missing this guy. She points to Thorn. Oh yeah. We found one of your guards. You want to ransom him back? Get us real, get us real. Stop being greedy. He, he was one of. He was very helpful when we, once we found it and, and put it to use. So. Yeah. So. uh he for a promotion. We should give it to him. He's like, I'm going with you guys. <laughs> He's a strange one. Not like you guys. You guys seem very. <laughs> Militaristic here. This guy, I don't know. <laughs> kind of was deceiving us half the time. <laughs> Is he a part of your guard? Are you sure? Yeah, he's, see, he was part of our he's guard. Missing. Was, and our our uh, our couple of our townspeople came back, so thank you. Yes, they made it back. Excellent. Yes, they made it back safely. All right, so you guys head now back. Do you know um, if there's a competent armor within within the city walls you could make some armor for us? Oh, well, not here in this town, but if you go back to the city, you could do that. All right. I appreciate it. Is there a place where I could get a new spear? <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, she could. Uh, she'll uh, she'll uh, she'll uh, provide you with a spear. She'll give you one from her uh, armory here. I'll ask Dot to ask Sabs to pick up uh, 120 arrows for me. Oh, we have that upstairs. What do you mean? Uh, there were about 25 orcs that each had bows or something. Not all the orcs had bows. No, like, but wasn't there like... Most of them. Pretty yeah, sure we throw the bodies over there. Erebus, those aren't strong arrows. You want no, some uh, well crafted arrows. We're, we'll just yeah, you can buy arrows here. Absolutely. Thank you. Alright, so do you guys now head back to Baker's uh Baker's view then? Um sure. Well do, do we need to speak to we need to speak to the dwarves of Baker's view, correct? Right? Yeah, Torlum is the one that hired you guys for the map um, and uh, and to recover any of these well, once weapons. Once we got all our stuff down to the wagon, we're fine 
transforming stuff, right? Yeah, absolutely. Getting it down to the wagon was yeah, it's just Yeah, that's the biggest part, is just getting it, uh, getting everything up to uh, to the staging point where uh, Lucky and uh, and Dar were, and then yeah, going getting a couple of your horses, loading them all up, and then bringing all that stuff back to your wagon, loading everything up, and, and moving on. All right, so. cool. Yeah, well, we don't we don't ride on the way back until <laughs> we get to the, we load all, everything on the horses until we get to the until the town. Makes sense. Yeah, no problem. All right. Uh, so you guys will make it back to uh, uh, Baker's View without a problem. Um, do you go to the Yawning Portal? Oh yeah. Okay. So you guys go there. Um, Torlum's not there, but um, uh, Duran will uh, make sure he goes and uh, has somebody retrieve him. And uh, he'll ask you, uh, Darren will ask you about your guys' travels and uh, how do you do and... Just kill two dragons. Yeah. Two dragons? Yep. There are two dragons in there? Yep. Wow. Very impressive. The one that came with us and then the one that's on the <laughs> As soon as she starts, shh, quiet! There's no, there's no, I don't know what she's talking about. She's... <laughs> She's mad about the dragons we killed. As she can see, enough not to fight one of them as, as you can see, she was kind of sad and withdrawn from the <laughs> combat because she's a dragonborn. And she's been a little bit delusional on the way back. But we killed two dragons. And can I smack Sazerel with her staff? <laughs> <laughs> Lightly. Here's, the claw, here's the claw. Here's one of the claws. The other one fell into the water. Really dark water wow. down there. So Very the dwarves might want to clean it out down there. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I... Can I smack her with my staff? Yeah, in the back of the head. <laughs> no, just no smack the angel. <laughs> smack the smack angel. angel. Alright, make a roll. I, I roll a four. Nope, you miss. I win. <laughs> win. <laughs> Moves out of your way. <laughs> Alright, and, and uh, Darian will go, none of that. Yeah, see? I told you, on the way back. It's been like this this whole time. Get this place all rowdy. Started a fight here <laughs> during the day. That's for night. Do we you have any? Do we have any alcohol to calm her down? Maybe. Maybe that will. Yeah, he'll. The uh, pain. He'll give everybody beers or wine, whatever everybody wants to drink. While you guys wait for Torlum to show up. So Torlum will come on in. This old dwarf. Um, he'll uh, come on in here and. Uh, oh, you've returned. Yeah. How how did you fare? Pretty well. We cleared the whole thing out. Wow. That's we incredible. Got four for four, sir. You got all the weapons back, too? We, we searched high and low. It took an extra few days, but yes. Wow, this is a great day. This is a great day. All right. Oh, I guess I, I, guess I got to pay up here. Uh, <laughs> so you have the maps? Map, yeah, yeah here, all here, here's a map for you. All right. <laughs> so he'll give, you, maps. he'll give you a ruby worth a thousand gold pieces. All right. And you have all the weapons, huh? Yep, your hammer, your axe. Oh. Wait, wait, can we rewind? Can we That's eight, <laughs> eight thousand. He already said that. Yeah. Yeah. Get out the bank. Yeah. So uh, that's eight thousand gold, and uh, so he'll uh, he'll pull out eight more rubies for you guys. You guys did great work. I'll definitely uh, make mention to uh, to the guild here that you guys did incredible work. Definitely, uh, when you're pitching a name, you might just want to <laughs> throw in two dragon. We killed two dragons down there. There were two dragons yeah. in there. A white one, and white one, and a black one. They were together. Wow, that is amazing. You, yes. Oh, definitely. Me and Dern here will definitely uh, talk you guys on up for the next. Get you guys on the next mission right away. You, you think when you're talking, you might be able to uh, uh, find someone who's who's quite adept at making armor from a dragon's hide. I would, I would like to honor one of our friends who. Sadly, had to, in some way, kill one of her kin, a distant relative. Oh, yeah, abs 
absolutely. It'll take some time, but you got the dragon scales to do it. We can do it. We can get it made. Absolutely. You're a baker's view. There's great dwarven craftsmen here. Great folks. Or put me in touch with the right person. Yep, absolutely. Away from where Phyllis, two hours talking to him, and goes sits with Darn, starts downing ale with him. All right, yeah, so yeah, he's just at the end of the. <laughs> there, there you go, drink, just, drink with your friend. Just drinking away. <laughs> For, forget this Watching Zazzle, smack you with my staff. That didn't work so well. Not his best move we don't want to start a brawl, it's never fun. <laughs> now people fall into the pit too, all the time. Too many exposures. <laughs> all right. Okay, so, uh, yeah, great job, guys. You guys finished off the Forge of Fury. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Now the next one coming up. Uh, so, uh, we will take some, uh, you guys will, you can take some time here, um, here in the, you know, city or whatever you guys choose to do, uh, before you go to the Hidden Shrine of uh, Tomoa Chan or Tomoa Chan so that would be that would be the next one uh, I know you guys got some treasure to split up and then probably um, buy stuff figure out what you want to buy and everything like that and uh, then I'll get out experience for everyone um, and then we'll go to the next one so so, a lot of this stuff we can do offline too, but you gotta have to go ahead and treasure part. I figured we'd give each person a ruby. Is that how you guys feel? But then we have one left over. And then uh, we have a, a total of 12,478 silver pieces and 2,907 2, gold pieces, not including all the gems and whatnot. So. You want me to hold on to the thorns, Ruby? Eight. No, I would. I'll just put it. I, I can just put a note on this character. So everybody, okay. get, everybody gets uh, seventeen hundred and eighty-two uh, silver pieces. Star and. How many? Seventeen hundred and eighty-two. Everybody gets 415 gold pieces, including that ruby. Wait, what? What do you mean, including the ruby? Oh, wait, you split up the last ruby? Oh, no, no, no. I'm just saying that, my bad, just the, four, you guys have 415 gold pieces, including okay. including one of the eight rubies that we handed out. Whatever. Because there's seven of us, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, there's seven of okay. us. And is that taking into account all the gems, or you still have to? No, go but I still, I still have to do that. But I figured I'd just let you guys get that. There should be nine rubies, right? The map, a thousand gold piece for the map. Yeah, my bad. Right. There's nine rubies, so there's seven. So you have two, two, two rubies, rubies left. left. Over. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And when you were pulling in gold and silver, was it? Were you pulling all the other ones from the other rooms too that we were scoffing at? Or? Yeah, but I pulled in all that from that stuff, just not the gems and. Uh, other loose items. And uh, is Elle going to keep the shield? Of healing flying? Or the last push? 
potion healing, I don't think it's going to anyone. Um, okay. Pretty, pretty potion fly? Um, potion fly? I don't know. I think we've got. Yeah. I think you guys got uh -huh. even a potion of water breathing. Yeah, left. Potion, potion. Two potions of climbing, two potions of water breathing, a uh, potion of hill giant strength, a potion of invisibility, which I gave to L, uh, and a potion of flying. I have a, a potion of alchemist fire. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, we had a bunch of those. All right. Well, why don't I do this? Why don't I go ahead and sign out? How do we keep going that? now? Like, we just divvied up the loot now. Well, I mean... I'm going still. Going where? Uh, the shrine? Sure. No, I don't <laughs> want the other players here so they can get some details of it. Let's just go to the shrine now. You got the details last time when I was knocked out. So you, you were here at the table. <laughs> <laughs> you just happened to be on as some... Of a extreme amount of drugs at the time. So, all right. So, yeah, I am going to sign out. Uh, uh, I think I could easily go around the room and ask the one simple question, who's tonight's <laughs> MVP? That's to be Zazriel there, taking that dragon down, um, making sure he didn't get away with uh, about uh, 400 gold pieces of loot plus the wand of magic missiles. So that was very key. Um, so, do you want inspiration die or a luck card? I'll take a luck card. All right, so I'll just give a luck card here. Didn't even have to use one, and I was worried I was going to have to. If he breathed one so more time, So, you can add a d4 after making a skill or attack roll. That one's less than my last one, man. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so... I'm going to sign out. We can, we'll still uh, talk afterwards here, guys. We will just break from, uh, from camera here. And uh, we will be back next Wednesday night. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll have all the crew back. Uh, we should. Uh, everybody that's watching this uh, over the weekend, maybe, uh, have a happy Thanksgiving. I don't think I put part one out on YouTube, so I'm going to do that too, <laughs> and part two, so they'll be back to back, which is probably good anyways, to have them both back to back, and uh, next week we'll be back Wednesday nights at our regular scheduled time with the Hidden Shrine of Tomoa Chan, Ooh so it should be cool, and I am... Oh, those who are going black credit shopping, be careful. <laughs> I will not. Market trampled. So. All right, yeah, don't get trampled in the stores. <laughs> With that, I'm going to sign out. Remember, it's cool to be a geek. Pass it on. Oh,